so let's start with the fourth problem let's go to the first point that is insert the spindle base as the base part okay assembly spindle base open enter let's insert the other components from bolt to nut everything we can just uh, rotate this part while importing so let's check how it is aligned it is aligned like this so we can just uh, rotate in then this axis that is the x axis the other parts now let's uh, start to mate as we can see from the figure there are two nut and bolts and there is two links so let's try to make a basic link a basic assembly and also one thing you have to keep this uh, one of the legs parallel to the yz planes so you have to keep that in mind this one leg would be parallel to the yz plane so let's make the basic assembly from what we understand from the figure made concentric and this uh, is at a distance a from the rim of the spindle base in this figure from this bottom surface to this top surface the distance is a that is 2.5 let's give that need distance 2.5 inches <laughs> okay that is done now let's uh, Made this link the surface with this one this with this this is in the opposite direction that's not what we want so let's flip it okay this will do and this surface with this one let's see this leopard how we want it to be now let's uh, copy this link along with the mates next concentric with this and surface coincident with this again concentric with this surface coincident with this ok this is done close yes this is correct now let's go to the bolt let's check the direction matter whether the head is in this direction or not yes I think it is right it is in this direction and our jaw is also in the yz plane right now so we have to keep it that way we'll give a mate later now this surface with this one let's go to the nut To bring it out, we have to hide this part. Bring that back again. Select the surfaces. Done. Now copy this with needs. 
let's first close this copy with needs concentric with this okay first we have to press next concentric over here and surface with this enter close this select the nut copy with needs concentric with this okay first, first uh, next concentric and consider and so this is done now let's uh, give the mate to make it parallel to the yz plane make this one job parallel to the yz plane so go to mate The yz plane which one would be the yz plane it would be this plane as we can see from the coordinates this plane would be yz plane and this is aligning with it the right plane so we'll select this and this one surface and make a parallel main okay now this is constrained and this cannot move cannot rotate so that is good so moving to the next point Holder for so who is it our native concentric? This we have done. This also we have done. Now the top case of the holder part are mated at angle B, uh, shown in detail D. So here it is. This would be angle B, which is 165 degrees. So let's give that. This surface and this surface. Angle. Cross 165 degrees. Right? Yes. Now to the next point. Flat faces draw are mated at angle C. This is the angle, which is 62 degrees from this surface to this. 62 degrees. This surface. And this one angle 62 in the opposite direction, not that way. So we'll make 180 minus 62. Now it is correct. Okay, so I think now everything is constrained nothing is moving so we are doing correct and the position of this uh, bolts and nuts these are also important for the center of mass so the surface is aligned with this surface so let's make that constraint too because it would have an effect on the center of mass the small things can have great effect so let's make one of these surface Done. and this surface also for the nuts done okay so now everything is constrained direction and bolts See, they have also told us. Now the side faces hold are parallel to the faces of. We have already done all the steps. Now we have to just. Now instead of uh, making repeating all of this again and again for three times, we can do a simple thing. We can go to circular component pattern. We can select the parts that we need to copy. Select all the parts over here. One by one. Okay, the parts have been selected. Now let's give the direction over here. We can give this cylindrical direction. And the parts we need are three in number. Everything is done. Okay. So we did this very simply in one step. All the parts have been created. And everything is constrained properly. Let's check once again. 
the direction of bolts and everything we set it as according to the circular pattern i think now we have completed it so let's uh, check with the results part 4 evaluate mass properties this would be an inches i guess that's it so 0 minus 4.5 and 0 so this is correct this is uh, the error is less than 1% so this is correct the variation can be due to different softwares or something like that but this is the correct answer now let's uh, move to the other part of the question the distance is now 4.2 so let's change that distance made over here is 4.2 inches is not changing is having 4.2 inches okay this is done and as we have given a circular pattern if this one changes all of the other parts will change accordingly now the angle b is 148 so let's change that 140 148 and then and the angle c is 83 We have to put 180 minus 83 over here. So I think that is done. Everything has been changed accordingly. So let's check the results. Zero five point four. So this would be a printing mistake probably, and this is zero. So how do we know that uh, there is an error in the PDF? It is because that uh, when you get the first answer correct, then you are only changing a few variables. It would uh, it should not be wrong. It is there is a very less probability that your result would be wrong. So you can know that there is an error in the PDF itself, and this is uh, 5.4. So they might have inversed it by mistake. So definitely there is a mistake in the PDF. If you think I am doing anything wrong, please inform me. Thank you. So this is the fourth problem. We'll move to the next problem in the next video. Thank you.